Namaste yogis and welcome to our practice. We'll begin seated. If we do have a blanket or a towel, feel free to grab it here and sit on that outer edge. So we just want to invite a gentle pelvic tilt forward for our first shape. We'll begin to extend the right leg out and bring the left foot towards the inner thigh or midline of the body. If you have blocks or any other props, feel free to grab them here as we start to move into our shape, half dragonfly. So moving down, we want to feel that gentle stretch to the inner thigh. As you fold forward, come forward from the hips and then feel the upper body supported here. Whether the palms are on the earth or the forearms are resting on a prop, we want the upper body to be relaxed and feel that gentle gravitational pull towards the earth so that we can settle in. Our first posture here, half dragonfly, will be targeting that inner thigh area. So you may be feeling the stretch here, perhaps in the back of the thigh as well. So take a moment here, just soften and release and find your first edge of our posture. In yin yoga, we work with edges or coming into a shape where we challenge the body, but we don't move too deep, especially at the beginning. It's natural for the body to slowly begin to physically release deeper. So if it feels organic as you hold any posture today, feel free to move and shift according to the body's needs and wants. So inviting some breaths here in our first posture. As we start to settle in, try to breathe deeply into the base of the belly and the low back. And taking full torso breaths. So breathing into base of belly, bringing the breath into the rib cage and chest. And then as we exhale, we soften the chest, the ribs, and the belly. When we are folded forward like this, you can focus on breathing through the back body, filling up the low back, mid back, upper back and shoulder. So just start to settle in, begin to notice and explore this posture on this side of the body. Noticing the quality of the mind. If we have active thoughts today, just giving the breath our focus and attention. Yin allows us to find those more meditative states by holding the postures for longer. And the body does move into a sense of release and sometimes relief as we hold the poses. So let's begin to slowly release our half dragon fly. We'll start to lift the upper body, extend the spine, lifting the crown of the head last. Extending that left leg out here, we'll start to bend the knees. Fingertips point towards the back wall as we lift the heart and chest and gaze, just moving the spine in the opposite direction. As we come back through neutral, take the knees right to left, little windshield wiper, just to help the movements kind of blend together here, feeling our counter pose. And when you're ready, we'll take the other side. Left leg extends out laterally here, right foot towards the inner thigh. 
Don't worry about if that foot touches the inner thigh. Just have the heel towards the midline of the body. We'll start to settle in here with our props, resting forearms, or you can rest your palms on the earth. And then begin to hinge forward from the hips and invite that gentle fold forward. Find the body scan here, noticing how this side of the body may feel a little bit different. Can we connect our breath to our shape? If we are feeling any tension, use the breath as a tool to feel the expansion of that part of the body, inviting the breath into that space so it can expand and release organically. A wonderful visualization that you can use in any part of the body that feels tense is to bring a lung into that area. Imagine that you're breathing and that part of the body is expanding. So once again, staying as you are or starting to come a little bit closer to the earth. Try not to push the body too far, but find that middle ground. Not too much, not too little. And start to settle in here, relaxing the quality of mind. Can we be present with sensation through body? breaths here. Slow and steady. Let's begin to release. Walk the palms back, start to lift the torso, maybe roll the shoulders up and back. Go ahead and bring that left leg forward. Take that very gentle back bend here, lifting the heart and chest. Coming back through neutral, take our windshield wipers right to left. Good, observe and notice how both legs are feeling at this time. All right, let's move on. We're coming into caterpillar pose. So we'll come to the long ways of our mats. 
We can also sit on that outer edge of the blanket here to invite that gentle pelvic tilt forward. I always encourage props underneath the knees for this posture just because we don't want to put any unnecessary pressure or rounding into the low back. So if we're not working with blocks today, it's wonderful to just grab a throw pillow or a rolled up towel or blanket, slide it underneath the knees so that you have some support. So this pose looks simple, but it can be quite challenging to actually hold for a period of time. Here we are in our caterpillar pose. So make sure that the low back is safe. If you're feeling a deep rounding here, you may need to sit up higher on a prop and then you can keep the spine tall and work with extension here instead of folding forward. If you are folded forward, hinging from the hips, the belly and thigh can touch gently and you can draw your chin into the chest and let the head start to relax. Notice where the hands fall, maybe palms and forearms rest on the shins or maybe beside the body. So really find the shape that works for you here. When we do take these seated forward folds, we always need to check in with the low back and make sure that we're taking this posture in a safe manner. If you have any cues of sharp pain, we need to back off a little bit or come out of the posture. So those will always be the body's cues for us. So really opening through the back body, but notice how lower body is feeling. We're targeting here the hamstrings. You may also feel a gentle stretch through the hips. So just observe, everyone will feel different in these poses depending on where the body is physically in this moment in time. And also the activities that we frequently do. So just like any yoga practice, Everybody will have their own expression in their own unique and beautiful bodies. No one shape is going to fit all. So just remember that as you modify your postures for yin. Finding those long, slow, and deep breaths, filling the back body, breathing down into the hips and allowing the breath to travel through the back of the thighs, down through the calf muscles, and out through the tips of the toes. As challenging as some of the postures may be, we find that gift of stillness. We find the gift of being with discomfort and allowing that sense of settling, allowing the grounding. On your next inhale, start to walk the hands back, start to lift the spine, lift the crown of the head and roll the shoulders up and back. If we have props underneath the thighs, remove them here. Fingertips point back, we'll lift the heart and chest, gaze lifts. Baby back bend here. Bending the knees, taking another windshield wiper, right to left, shifting the energy letting that energy move you're always welcome to find stillness in your counter posture instead of movement if that calls to you